And yeah, there's probably an ego to it in some sense. But that's his content. Real Matic Podcast. We do this YouTube shit, mm -hmm. right? Do you guys know what's the largest YouTube channel? Is is, is it, it Mr. Beast? That is correct. It is Mr. Beast. Do you guys know <laughs> what Mr. Beast did this last week? Um, he, built, he built 100 wells in Africa. That is yeah. correct. He did. He one? built okay. wells in Africa, different I'm countries. Like two, two videos right now. Mr. B. Yeah, B. I think it's like over 100 wells that he built in Africa. This is the first of 100 wells we're going to build in this video. Oh, water! Water! Oh, oh, crap! You just witnessed a small village in Kenya get access to unlimited clean drinking water in less than a second. Okay. Um, I got a video that I want us to respond to. The biggest the YouTuber in the world, Mr. Beast, just posted a video of him digging a hundred wells in Africa. And I got to say, as an African myself, I'm not impressed because I am sick and tired of watching these palm colored influencers using African villages as a stage for their white savior propaganda. Issues like poverty, disease, and bad drinking water are not exclusive to African regions. Flint, Michigan is a good example of an American city that got all three of those things. But Mr. Beast made the intentional choice to go to an African village to make a big show of his great humanitarianism. Why? Because Western society is so conditioned to thinking of the entire continent of Africa as being beneath them that they will see no problem with people like Mr. Beast exploiting the images of children for financial gain and for an ego boost. And I know in his heart he thinks he's doing the right thing, but with as big of a platform as he has, he's actually propagating imagery that says Western society is higher, African society is lower, and they need our help. And if history has told us anything, we know for a fact that, um, uh, some strong emotions in that video. What do you guys think about that? Do you guys think that um he's trying to propagate like a white savior complex by helping out Africans? What do y'all think? Can can I can I get this one? I feel like this is really really simple. If that is true, I guess in my mind about it is isn't it still a good thing that they're still being helped to regions that don't have access to those water? I understand you might feel the ethical side about a white savior propaganda is affecting your ability to, to see this as a good thing. But at the same time, bro, they didn't have that shit before he got there. They didn't have the ability to have those resources before he donated. Yeah, you could have did it in Flint. You could have did it in the United States. But at the same time, if you feel like this underdeveloped region with it wasn't just like you built one. You built 100. So at a point, that's a sizable impact that you're making, whether you believe it or not. So it's kind of like, you know, I, you, I can't see nothing but the good in it. I, I, I Sometimes like you got to take the we hate white people part out of it because it's like it can't always be that, though. And for Mr. Beast's content, for what I've seen, he doesn't give me a person where it's kind of like he's doing this for the look. He's doing it out of his heart. You made that mm -hmm. much money. The least you can do with your platform is do a good thing to to humanity. Mm. What you think about it, Ro? Man, I'm a Mr. Beast fan. I'm not gonna hold you. Um, he raised valid points. You know what I mean? Like this is something that uh, propaganda of white of Africa being below us and all those other things. Those are real things that are pushed upon us, right? Mr. Beast has a whole other page outside of his like main big following one called Mr. Beast Philanthropy, mm. which has like 18.5 million uh views. I had to pull it back up. He is this isn't like it's his first time doing something like that. Like two days ago, they said they powered an African village, or then it's like helping paralyzed dogs run, or uh we bought we adopted an orphanage, or just different things, bro. So it's not like like, yeah, you can say it's white savior complex. This is a true thing. Mr. Beast be dropping some mad bread or working with yeah. these brands to do some really god damn, Mr. Beast, why are you doing this type? Of, like, and yeah, there's probably an ego to it in some sense. But that's his content. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not expecting for him to change the world, but like I expect for a Mr. Beast video to see him do stuff that I know I'm not gonna be able to do anytime soon. <laughs> and like this is the position he's in, you know. Um I ain't gonna knock the dude, but I understand where my man was coming from. Mm. You know. I mean, I just feel like it comes down to your moral standpoint. Um, mm -hmm. I think that sometimes, especially here in this country, we get so bothered by someone's race. Um, 
I think what he did was good. I think we should just leave it at that. I don't think it's about, oh, this white savior complex. Maybe he does have one. But guess what? I mean, thousands of people got water now. I'm saying. And, and then it's like, how 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 much and how long is it always blaming the white man? I'm not for saying, I'm, and look, on my platform, I'm an advocate for saying like, hey, we always keep we, we always keeping it black, but at the same time, it's kind of like, is it always like fuck? F what they doing? F the help that they're giving? F the support? Because then it's like our whole goal is to get inclusion and be equal and shit like that. So when they're showing the white man with a sizable platform is giving to actual African people, is that a bad thing? What he's doing? Because like, can you do it? The the Quan in Michigan, like, can you do it? Like for real though, like, is it always the negative? Like, look at it. And that's the thing. Do. It's like, it's always somebody that got something to say, but mm -hmm. they're not the ones doing it. Never. Y'all not going to Africa. Y'all not putting those wells out there. Y'all not yeah, funding no. that. You know what I'm saying? Y'all not doing the research. So stop talking so much. Like, yeah. crazy. like we don't know Mr. Beast. No. You know, we don't live with him. We don't know this man personally. Again, he might have a white saver complex. It doesn't matter, though, because those people got help. They got help that the government couldn't provide, the people there couldn't provide, their family couldn't provide, and a lot of Americans cannot provide that help. But mm -hmm. the fact that he went over there and did that, you got to commend the man for that. I don't think that's something crazy that we should just be dissecting and saying, well, he's white and white people are perpetrating. Look, Africa is fucked up. You know, it's in fucked certain, up. In certain parts. In certain parts, it's fucked up. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of like if you created a pie, took that shit out the oven, you about to serve it, and there's a little mold on the side. Would you eat that pie? It's just a mm. little mold on one side. Mm. Mm. You're not going to eat that shit. <laughs> well, y'all nasty niggas might eat that shit, but, but I'm just saying, normal people... Bruh. They're not going to eat that shit. <laughs> yeah. Because you no, know, okay, well, <laughs> if it's a little mold on that end, it's probably mold on the other side that you just can't see. So it's the yeah. same thing with Africa. There's certain parts of Africa that is fucked up. Yeah. So it makes Africa look fucked up. Now, yeah. if we want to break down Africa and get into the micro perspective of different parts in South Africa and, you know, uh, Nigeria, different countries, yeah, you could say, well, these countries are good. But as a whole, that's just what it is. That's the stereotype that plagues that country, that that continent. It just is what it is. So if somebody's helping them, we got to stop this whole, well, they have a savior complex. No, they need help. Just like if you want to go to another continent or another country, go to India. They need help. It Why just hating on is help? what it is. Why be hating on the help? I don't, that's what I don't, know. I don't that. understand that. <laughs> it's a condition of us, bro. I'm telling you. Like, niggas just, no, people just like, hate. You know, sometimes you accept the help and then it comes back to bite you. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's the automatic fear in everyone's mind. Like, but sometimes we got to be able to just accept the help because, <clears throat> bro, they needed it. Even if he picked the most random village or random town and shit, like, he saw, hey, they need some help. They probably have voiced this and they weren't able to get it. Mr. Beast came through. Thanks, Mr. Beast. And then y'all don't want to have the real conversation that, that people aren't talking about. Y'all glorify you, and I'm gonna say this statement very loosely. Y'all glorify your rappers, your athletes, your major black wealth billionaires, but it's kind of like, do you see these people going to Africa every year to donate to Africa? Do you see these people doing projects or leading missions to like do these type of things, or even in your own country? How many of them like consistently be giving back to like even even Flint? We even consistently. Know how many of like, them just give back? Listen, <laughs> like we that. all know Flint. We all know Flint they messed up. Like, I, what what we doing? What we doing? For real, for real. I want to know because at a point, if we really gonna point the finger, like for real, because y'all got the money right, y'all mm -hmm. making the millions. I got the bands right. It can't be. It can't be just hate. Just it remind hate, me bro. of Africa. I mean, I'm saying Africa. It remind me of Oprah because Oprah she started to build schools in Africa, and people were like, "Well, why don't you help the people in America?" Well, that's because we don't need help. <laughs> like, need help. it's one thing to not have something, and then it's one thing to just not appreciate. We just don't appreciate stuff here. Mm -hmm. We don't appreciate not our resources. We have schools. We have 
you know, running water and electricity. We have all that stuff. Fact. They don't have that in Africa. People don't be having AC, bro. Shit, For real. real, they got to carry the buckets on their head. They got to walk miles to go get the river water and all that. We don't need to do all that shit. So my man said they just built wells, bro. Understand wells. that? That's not. That's not. That's not small. Bro. That's wells, not regular <laughs> flowing water in a whole sewer system that allows you to. I think that's crazy. Bro. That's that's crazy, bro. That's crazy. But we digress. Realmatic Podcast.